Hi guys, welcome to a normal floss tube. It feels like forever since I've done a normal floss tube and I thought it was high time. It is the, it's Thursday the 7th of January 2021. So bar me just putting up a video of my floss box of doom, um, which I had recorded right back well, early December and I found it on my, uh, I found it on my phone because I was doing a bit of, sorry I'm just moving things already, I was doing a bit of deleting off so that I had some space to do some other recordings because I've started the finishing the little pillows. Uh, admittedly I've done two of them so it might take away a wee while for me. Um, so hello and uh, welcome. So normal floss tube, what have I been doing since the month turned? Well I have been concentrating I've laid everything out and of course now I can't find what I want. I have been concentrating almost solely on bingo, full coverage fanatics. I couldn't get the page to print so I drew it out very scrappily on a piece of printer paper by hand. So full coverage fanatics 2021 bingo and I have a bingo line. I have the line down here I have completed and two other squares and this morning I have also finished this square and I'm going to do this square because they're on the same piece so thousand stitches here, thousand stitches here and then those two will get crossed off tonight sometime they're easy peasy because they're on the key down here on the key as well so I might just power through and do three thousand stitches on it I did 400 last night after I posted my bingo line to full coverage fanatics um so putting quite a few stitches. Each one of these squares represents a thousand stitches. Apart from this one, which was hot beverage. I have no hot beverage in any one of my full coverage for, uh, full coverage pieces. I looked really carefully through the Bountiful bookshelf. I looked really carefully through the uh, um, treasure hunt bookshelf. The nearest we got was like a steaming like genie lamp and there is a coffee pot on the treasure hunt bookshelf but I figured I figured that was fairly loose so I took I took the um, I took the forfeit so that one is 2,000 stitches the only other one I have to take a forfeit on is some sort of celebration I have no celebrations um, I'm not doing a Christmas piece yet I have got a Christmas ornament that I've bought the pattern of that gorgeous reindeer with the sleigh I'm not starting that until later on maybe this year October time I'll start that I've got more than enough on the go right now so for me that's two three four five six seven eight thousand stitches i've done number nine and i'm on i'm start i've just started ten, i've just started on my ten thousand so but i've had a lot of time we are in lockdown please note my hair is down i've just come out of the shower i've not could just come out of the shower it's it's almost dry and just for once i thought i'd just brush my hair out and not tie it up in a knot immediately i will tie it up in a knot pretty soon because it's already making me crazy but this is me hair down not a lot of hair but makes me crazy gets in my way it's very very long anyway and i'm gonna probably drive you all nuts touching it the whole time because it, it gets in my way and it makes me nuts and i think it looks funny because i never have it down so it feels funny when it is Right, that's a by the by. So I'll show you my full coverages first and then I'll show you the non-full coverage pieces. Now I didn't think I'd worked on any non-full coverage pieces hardly at all until I've just pulled out everything I've been working on and I actually have put some stitches in some other bits. So the first thing I did right as New Year rolled was I started working on the better to see you with. This is my Christmas. The Ada is rigid as anything and it's huge. Um, fits basically like a bedspread on my bed so yeah it's it's enormous and I've got a tiny little start of I think 1400 stitches here which you won't even probably be able to see because it is white and very palest blue can you see there's stitches here anyway it's one over one on 20 count Ada and yeah it could be anything there there are some there are some stitches there there can you see the there now you can see there are some stitches there just a few I'm missing the first color the first corner I'm missing that color 
I've got an order in with Lakeside Needlecraft. It is not even showing dispatched yet, so I can wait. So that's the only time I've worked on this so far. I'll pop a picture in of the better to see you with. And in about 20 years, it should look like that. But yeah, no time soon. I do want this. This is the piece I'm going to use for my trip around Iceland. So at the moment I've got I've done one leg and I'm I've got another few stitches to do the second leg. But I'm just going to as I do the stitches, I'm just going to tick off the legs as I go. I'm only using this piece for it. But here is the Ada. It is enormous. It's still very, very rigid because it's brand new. And because of where I'm stitching right at the top, I couldn't put it. I couldn't even put the four legs of the Q-snap on. So yeah, that was my first. That was my new start. The better to see you with. Get rid of that. Then I worked on the least amount of stitches, which is my fragile, which I really struggle with. And yeah, I struggled with it. There is a thousand and I think forty-two. I counted every single one of them very carefully. It's not in Pattern Keeper, so I have to like, as I as I mark the chart, I'm like, what is it around nine, ten, eleven, twelve, write down twelve, and then put a little plus next to it, and then yeah, took me took me two two days to get my thousand in on this, but it is coming along, and there's still quite a lot of stitches to go. So what I was doing was basically picking a colour along the bottom and stitching up until I ran out of it, and then picking another colour and stitching up till I ran out of that thread. And I didn't even finish, didn't even finish the thread I was on. I made my stitches and I stopped. But this is down for another thousand stitches in bingo. So I'm going to do another thousand and then we'll see where I am with it. And hopefully I can get this little dinker done because it is tiny and it's beautiful. And Corinne showed me her finish and I want to finish mine. So it needs to be done. So that was the second thing I worked on. We pop it with the finished and then I picked up four. Oh, I did Bountiful Bookshelf next. Now I went a bit nuts on Bountiful Bookshelf. Let me organise my increasingly soft piece of Ada. OK, so when I did my whip parade, I had got to there. There were no stitches past here at all so that's where I was I put no stitches in on this I did four prompts and one of them was four prompts three prompts oh look it's right in front of me I've done three prompts but four thousand stitches because I took the I took the um, forfeit on this piece and I did books obviously the spines of books counts and a cozy spot now for the cozy spot I wanted to get over to this armchair, which is from the Land of Lost Toys. And I've stitched, there's the little girl's hair. She's asleep on an armchair, a cosy armchair, and she's asleep. So I thought a cosy spot, brilliant. But I had to get from Aesop's Fables through to a cosy spot. So I counted across and I know, I know my aid is gridded. And I know I could have just gone, right, I need to go over to 420 and start there. I could have done that. But what I've done is I have joined up. I've picked a colour that was it predominantly in the top part of each book. And I've stitched across. Best part of 3,000 stitches. And then, well, 2,500 stitches. And there's about 1,500 stitches in here for the cosy spot. And you can see the outline of the little girl. And the, the words are outlined in black as well. So you can see lot of lost toys will be there. So I'm really happy with that. I've still got this down for another two prompts. I'm going to do something that flies and wolves or dogs. Wolves or dogs. There is a wolf here on Aesop's Fables. So I'm just going to carry on with the wolf who is I think this grey that's already started here so I'm going to carry on with him put a thousand stitches in this corner here for wolves and dogs and then something that flies the snow queen which is down below here so I'm going to move down 
the horses and the sled that the Snow Queen's riding are in the air. So I figured that's something that flies. I could have used one of my dragon pieces, but I just wanted to try and put as many stitches. And this gives me a good deal of scope because I can just pick up now, pick up a colour and just stitch wherever because I've got I've got really good reference points all over it now from stitching here and there and everywhere on it. So Bountiful Bookshelf got a lot of stitches and I'm really pleased to have chucked a load of progress in on that. Even that 4,000 stitches doesn't quite do the first book on the book challenge though because that's 4,000 and something so I've still got to do more to meet the book challenge. And then, then I picked up Mini Autumn's Promise because we had white stitches and sparkly snow, sparkly snow or gemstones. So I've picked up Mini Autumn's Promise and I've put 2000 and small change into this and I basically filled in all the white, they were blank, all thousand blank stitches here and then for the snow I went above this branch and filled in because there was big gaps here, big gaps here and tried to stay above that branch for my thousand stitches because that is snow on that branch and you can see from the outline there where the where the sky is and the snow sits on the branch so I tried to stay on the snowy branch rather than just following the colour right round because the colour's top and bottom and on the branch as well so I tried to stay on the branch to do the snow so I'm super pleased 2,000 stitches in that one lovely and then last night and this morning I picked up my favourite to bang out some stitches. I've got um, one, two, three. I think I've got three. Yes, I've got three prompts in the key, one of which I've already finished. And I have been working because I was doing um, an animal from the Chinese calendar, obviously the dragon. I'm a dragon, 1976 was dragon, and so was 2012, my little boy's a dragon as well, by the by, and the dragons, always a good prompt, dragons. So I thought I would just work on the dragon because I've still got thousands of stitches to do in the dragon. So what I've done, there's his little head, there's his little head. So what I've done is I have, oh, it's enormous. This is my 14 count one, remember. What I've done is I've filled in the pale colour in the wings. I've colour completed three purples this morning. I'm really pleased. Um, so I filled in his wings because these were all still these were all still gappy in his wings. The bottom bottom two parts here, and these two parts here of this this pale. It's two ten. I colour completed those, and I've now picked up. I'm doing two colours. I'm doing eight two three and five fifty. And they come up and they outline the bottom of the wing here. And then I'll go up and see if there's any stitches above the wing to make the wing stand out. And, and I've still got his tail to do. You can see where his tail's going to be for the black. So I'll see how my stitches run. I'm definitely putting the next thousand in on the dragon. And then I'll maybe just do something else for the last thousand because that's, that's just for a piece with more than 21 colours. And there's... A lot of colours in this. So lots of stitches, lots of full coverage stitches, partly because we're in lockdown. I might have already said, I'm sure everybody knows that England has gone into a very very hard lockdown, basically the same as we were in March and I was in work on Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning and then on Wednesday, on Tuesday night, they came on the telly of nighttime news and said, yeah, we reckon one in 50 people in the UK is currently has COVID. A one in 50. And basically my it really, really frightened my elderly boss. And she said, right, oh, then we've got these three orders that are open. If we can get these three orders out today, we will shut down until February. So as far as I know, and I definitely can't go to my other job, which is hospitality, absolutely closed for the foreseeable. Um, as far as I know now, I am furloughed from both jobs until at least the 1st of February. If I don't hear from my man manager before February, I'm in on the 1st of February. So I have got 
the next three weeks to stitch and I am going to stitch a lot in the next three weeks just in case I don't get the chance when everything goes back to normal and yeah I'm going to be doing six days then as a normal thing I'm only going to have Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday afternoon off so when the world goes back to normal my stitching time is going to go bleh. so I'm going to do my stitching right now now I can okay what else did I work on before between Christmas and New Year while I was waiting and waiting and waiting on New Year so I could start best to see you with and I've not really gone crazy on that because I wanted to do the prompts so it didn't really happen that way um, I put in quite a bit more stitching on my first Mill Hill kit this is the train depot so I I did put it I basically I think the stitching's finished to about here I put on all the white had to do that twice because I miscounted here and had to do the white again I'd done the tree counted from the white so the tree had to come back out so that's all fixed I just basically need to do the train depot itself and then it will be beading so that's where I am on my first and this is going to have 12 Mill Hill kits on this single piece six on the top and this is the bottom left corner for six at the bottom so that's the first of those I put some work in on that and then I picked up Peaceful Street and again started in this decided to just get on with it and started in this corner here and picked a colour and just started to just finish a strand in the colour so I've got quite a bit more just quite a bit more isn't it lovely this is on the kit aider the 14 count using three strands it is hard work but I really like the effect yes it's almost 3d but I really do like the effect of it it's looking very good and I really enjoy it when I do sit down to do it because it's 14 count it's, it's, it's not as easy as stitching on the key with two strands but Look at that, look how much it pops. Kingdom of Books will look just like this when I get pull my finger out and get on with that. I kind of forgot Kingdom of Books. Didn't put it on my full coverage board. For some reason to me that, that needs to be Hades mostly. But I've got a I've got a forfeit. It's some kind of celebration I've marked a forfeit, so I might do some Kingdom of Books for the forfeit, which would give me a good chunk of that. And then the other thing I picked up after doing the whip parade and remembering that I had this and realising that I hadn't worked on it for ever, I picked up my Lakeside, uh, the Bands of Variation from Lakeside Needlecraft and I finished the board, ugh, hopeless, I finished the border along the bottom here. I do need to pull a motif to put in each each side of the words because obviously I changed the words. I need to put, put a motif in the either side but that's what was stalling me because I knew I needed to do that and I just thought I'll do that later I can just get on with the pattern and do that later so I'm on the next band and it is just a riot of colour it is a pattern it's like a it's like a plus you can see that's one leg of a like a four pointed star there's three of them on the on the band and then I've got all the blue the two colours so it's the blue and the purpley colour so I've got all the blue to the blue will basically fill in the block so I did quite a bit on that which was nice to get on with and this is really easy because I think this is this might be 28 count as well so that's coming along really nicely and then yesterday I picked up Dilemma again I saw it in my whip parade and I just wanted to get on with it and I was feeling a bit full coverage doubt so I picked up Dilemma and I finished off this this square which wasn't quite joined up and then I, I started going this way and I realised my counting was out and I'd already done these look like pistons to me being an engineering background they look like pistons I don't know what they actually are but to me they're pistons and I think I'd stitched two and a half of the pistons and they were all a stitch too high up which normally with a long dog I'll just leave it and just fudge it in but it's a straight border and I couldn't have it stepped up it would have looked really really rubbish and really noticeable and nah 
I had to unpick it so I spent quite a while quite frustratingly unpicking. I managed to save three lengths of varying of the silk and then one of them I don't know how I'd stitched it their stitches well I couldn't unpick it it was all stitched and it, the, the thread had all been split so I chopped out and wasted a length of silk I chopped out the last piston I couldn't unpick it and then I restitched I stitched finished stitching up this once I'd fixed my mistake which was my mistake was here I'd counted too many I'd counted one too high after doing that little stitch there I counted one too high so all of this border here was too high and so as I was stitching this way I realized it wouldn't meet this is in the Karen Water Lily pomegranate and the colors are just magnificent on the 36 count granite which is actually a green grey print a lakeside needlecraft fabric it's a laguna so it's the whole, the whole thing with this is it's a delight it's an absolute delight the fabric's wonderful the floss is amazing yes it's silk yes it's expensive but I'm using one strand and I'm hoping the three skeins I have will finish the border which will fit this piece of fabric I sincerely hope and at the minute I am still hoping to do the border first before I start on the insides really hoping I can so that's my stitching then I've got <sighs> A box of stockings this is this is the sort of thing that people kept their double-sided knitting pins their haberdashery supplies in this is from an auction lot I've got lots of these old lovely boxes this is what this one had John off stockings in anyway this has now got my little waiting to be finished pillows I showed this on my Facebook group. There's number one. That was my mock-up of the the button. The buttons I got in the auction lot as well. And I've got the red ones. And that one is a... Uh, I think that might be very dark green. It might be dark brown. I've got quite a lot of... The, well, I've got loads of the buttons. So I'll pick, I'll pick out nice colours. I did... I have filmed my fabric selection it's very rambly I kept going off piece I opened a box of fabric and of course talked through the entire box of fabric they're all cut to size they've all got a piece of vinyl on the back just to help them out I've got little bits of a uh, little bits of um, wadding cut I've got my my auction find th wooden bobbin silcos auction finds that one's plastic but it's perfect colour. I've even got moth thimble because obviously that's stitching. You can see I've just whip stitched it on. There. Small. And I made some cord. I made some cord from some yarn. So the idea is there's going to be a whole... Um, that's not my good thimble. That's the thimble I've stolen from my mum. Borrowed from my mum because we have the same size fingers until my thimble turns up I have a beautiful Chester silver thimble which is somewhere in this house and it's I've used it so much it's bent into an oval it fits my finger perfectly but it's somewhere in the house it'll it'll turn up everything does in the end the house spits things out but it's fallen on the floor behind a sofa or something you know I've just got to find it so the button will be on a on a board with a frame round it and these can just be hung up so competition still open at the moment I think everybody who's going to enter has entered because everybody's name that I recognize has entered already um, I will when I pull my finger out and start sewing these pillows up I will um, do a, a quick I need to do a housekeeping I need to do a housekeeping um, floss tube where I announce all the winners of everything I've actually forgotten to do the winners I've got two prizes up for grabs at the moment 
which I will actually, when I finish this, I will stop the video, record the, put draw, draw the names for the two prizes and I'll announce it right at the end because I've forgotten to do that and I need to get into my phone to do that. So I'm getting on with that. And now we're down to plans. Now I'm not, I'm still not ready to do plans because not everything has arrived yet. But this morning in the post, finally, 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 it's taken a week and a half to get to me. My Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow patterns here. Yay! So I can prep my fabric. Do you know where my hoodie is? Which hoodie? Um, my um, the one that's running around filthy dirty by itself. I don't. I haven't put laundry on yet. No, 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 no. The, the one that I bought go to wear on walks. Oh, I thought I left it with you. No. Sorry. I don't have your hoodie. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's filthy. She got it for Christmas from her friend Izzy and she's not allowed me to put it in the washing machine yet. I will find it. I will wash it, but I haven't yet. Anyway, I only finished work yesterday. I did some kitchen this morning. Um, so Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow. Yes, and I have my stitch count. I know it's probably the same stitch count as the Shores of Hawkrun Hollow, but I wanted to wait to be sure. I can now. Here is my fabric. My fabric will not look like this when I start stitching on it. I'm going to dye it blurple blue and purple I've watched loads of videos on how to scrunch it and pour on the dye and everything but I thought because I want it really dark I thought I won't start with white I'll start with blue because then it can only get darker can't it and it's going to be better than starting with white and having to dye it from white right through to navy blue so I've got indigo and purple rip dye en route ordered it the same day I order all of these the same day. This came a week ago. This came this morning. My rip dye is still in limbo. It's coming from the UK. It's not it's not travelling far, but it's not here. So I bought myself this is 32 count Laguna. Um, it's colonial blue and I've got it's not full length. I thought it would be. No, it's not. It's a metre. 10 or a metre 20 by I think 80 or something it's more than big enough it's more than big enough so I'm going to cut the right size piece give myself my two my two inch border and then I'm going to machine it up so that it's not going to fray and then I'm going to get that ready for dyeing I want to use this stripe of this for New World which is Barbara Anna, the big Barbara Anna piece, which is done in five set on five separate fabrics, which I'm going to start prepping for. I have my fabrics. Oh, I have a fabric video that I took when my Casa Sanina order arrived. I'll insert that here. I'm hunting for words in some of it. So I'm going to pop it in here for you to watch. And that's my fabric. Hi guys, oh, I've got a packet. This is from Casa Sanina. This has taken four days, four days to get here from Italy. I'm going in. Oh, I'm excited. There should be lots of fabric in here. fabrics I have got let me get this open I don't want to I don't want to rip it she says totally ripping it right let's match up what we've got there should be nine pieces of fabric in here okay that's the linen Ooh, that's very pale 
that's linen there's the green oh there's a piece of pink piece of that color Oh, I'm going to find something fantastic for that. So I think I've got three linens. These are all 32 count even weaves. So I've got 32 count blush. I've got Giorgio Perla limestone. That must be the limestone. Vintage country something or other. Newcastle linen, vintage country mocha. That's got to be vintage country mocha. That's got to be loon argenti. Or maybe that's loon. Right, that's 40 counts. So there's my two 40 counts. So I've got a vintage country mocha. These are all Zweigarts because that's what I like. So I've got Vintage Country Mocha, which is they're printed. I'm happy with the print. There. This is called Loon Argenti. It is like the palest, palest silver colour. Palest grey. like that very much. These are all single cuts of 50 by 70 so we are talking a fat quarter big enough for a long dog if ever i saw one now i've got murano laguna 32 count green i have got blush is easy i've got that must be the limestone I've got Vintage Country 18. That's, I've definitely got three bits of... Oh, no, this is 35 count Edinburgh limestone. That's the other linen. That's limestone, 35 count. You can see it's linen because it's it's got some slubs in it. So that must be... So I've got platinum, I've got blush, I've got green... I've got um, I've got Lila Lila Anyway <laughs> Those are my colours Ta da Now This here the Barbara Ann signs, I've got the purple, I might purple that up a bit, I've got the purple um, dye coming, I've got purple writ dye coming, so I might purple that up a little bit for this piece. I've then got the grey, I've got the limestone, I've got the blue which is on here, there's my blue. And then I've got the green. So those are the colours that I'm going to do. Barbara Anna Designs New World. Because can you see? It's a five, five separate fabrics, little strips. They're three inches by full width, three inches. So I need a four or five inch piece. So hopefully I'm going to have enough left over on this. Failing that, I have got the 32 count piece coming. Not too sure what that is. I've got a 32 count piece coming as well. So that's for this, and I'm probably going to rip dye out just the, just the piece I need because that's lilac. I might just rip dye that a little bit more vibrant. That was just an extra, and that I got the piece of blush just cause. And I think I'm going to over dye that as well. Because although it's Laguna and it's only 50% cotton, it does take up dye and it should take the RIT dye better than it takes anything else. So here is my 2021 fabrics. Apart from the meter I bought a blue this morning. So I've got enough for a long dog. I want to do spangled. But I don't know. 
I don't know yet what base, I, what, what colour I'm going to do it on. I wonder if it'll fit on this. Oh, that's marvellous. Because obviously I'm not going to do spangled to the right colours. So this is going to go into my plans video. And I'll firm it all up. I just wanted to show you what had just arrived. Thrill to bits. There's my 2021 fabric bundle. Thank you, Cassis and Nina. That was wonderfully quickly delivered. Thrilled to bits. Yay. <laughs> and now I can do some big pieces. Just because I haven't got enough big pieces currently in process. A big pen when I need one. There we go. So that was my that's my 2021 fabric arrived so everything I'm going to stitch this year apart from this piece which I ordered separately because it was a much bigger piece and I hadn't decided then what colour I would start with but that was the darkest blue I could get without being navy blue because I figured that would be hard to over dye um, so it's colonial blue so all 32 count so I'm going to over dye the lilac because it's very pale lilac I'm going to cut this for the for the a new world I'm going to cut the strip and I'm going to over dye that with the purple to give it more oomph more purple similarly oh I didn't pull the piece out the piece of platinum I'm going to pull that piece and I've bought a dial on grey and I'm going to try and dye that a bit greyer I'm going to do all my dyeing at the same time I might film it because it'll be quite because I've not done it much before and I've not tried to do the the scrunchy mottled thing before. Last time I was trying to really just get a flat colour on it. Um, so I'm going to try and flat colour that a bit more purple. And at the same time, I'm going to cut this in half. This is my blush. Very, 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 very pale pink, 32 count. Actually, the pick the colours much better in the in the video you've just the little snippety video you've just seen of the blush. I'm going to cut that in half, and I'm going to over dye that with the purple, and try and get mottling on that. And then I found a piece of white. I think this is 32 count, so I'm just going to play about with this and just use up the dye. It's only a little bit, and I've got. This is the 18 count Ada I got off. Facebook which is a kind of a splatter it's lilac mm, it's about that colour but it's got navy blue splatters on it I'm going to muck about with that and equally I've got a bigger piece of the 18 count Ada which is currently lilac with pale navy blue splatters on I'm going to have a go at making that look a little bit more interesting but as I say, I've got a grey dye, I've got a indigo coming and I've got purple coming. So they're all going to be on a theme. And as soon as my fabric is done and ready, if it doesn't come out the colour I want, I'm just going to keep dyeing it. Once it's dry and ironed, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to decide if it's right or if it's wrong. And if it's wrong, I'm just going to keep dyeing it until it's the right colour. So it might be a bit of a, an expedition. While I'm doing that... I've got this out of the out of the cross stitcher, February cross stitcher, the Emma Congdon. I really do want to stitch this, so I need to find my piece of navy blue has got um, mid moonlight by filigram on it, and yeah, there's not enough to do both on it. This is quite it's quite big actually. Um, I worked it out. I think I need a fourteen by sixteen piece to do this on. So when I've cut my Halloween at Hawker and Hollow I'll see if I've got a piece of that big enough left and if I have I'm just going to indigo it I'm just going to dye it indigo and then dye it indigo again until it goes that colour or dark navy um, so 
that's that's going to be dyed as well so when I ordered my pattern from the patchwork rabbit I always go through their sale fabrics because every now and again I'm just going to make a wee bit of noise every now and again they've got the little bits that are left over they use 100% biodegradable bags that, that have got the cornstarch clear bit which is exceptionally noisy but I got two little pieces yeah that's about right <laughs> they're both crystals this one is picture this plus 28 count crystal gothic look at that and this piece is crystal huntress um yeah that's about that color isn't it they're wonderful and they're both crystals so they're sparkly sparkly picture this plus is picture this plus not easy to find can't find large pieces very often and i just fancied that i particularly like now if i could do that with some purple to that piece of fabric yeah i'm going hopefully this dark but with the purple as well i'm going to try and mottle i'm going to go purple first i'm going to try mottle dye purple and then mottle dye blue and then we'll see what we've got and if there's still too much of the background blue showing i'll just go again till i'm happy so i think that's about me i don't know how long it is now because i've been stopping and starting to insert pictures and things um i've got a lot of other plans but i'm not going to do a plans video now because it's already way into the year i've already started stuff and yeah <laughs> so what what am i doing next next while i'm on furlough i'm going to make a lot of bags because i have a lot of fabric i've got a lot of bags not quite finished i've got a lot of bags cut out i've got a lot of bags half stitched so i'm going to make a lot of bags and i'm going to make a lot of needle minders now this is full of stamps some of which i've shown you some of which i haven't look at these guys there's a puffin christmasy gorgeous ones hi what are you after do you want another coffee it's still full i haven't drunk it's it. still full yes cool. right i've put that as long as i'm going to hit you and get fired with go on then <laughs> cold outside we've had snow on oh it has melted a little bit it keeps melting off my big greenhouse panels it melts a bit and shovels down so it's like a wrinkly blanket at the bottom and then each day then the new bit of snow and frost is so it's melted it's melted about two foot off the greenhouse so far today it sloughed down about two foot but yesterday it didn't melt yesterday i defrosted my car drove to work and when I left work four hours later, I had to defrost my car again because it was all like there was like a sh my car was basically white again with the little, the little hairy frost all over it. Very, very cold yesterday. I wasn't going to do enough. The temperature tree. Thank you. Oh, I'm showing you stamps. I've ordered tons of stamps, tons and tons of stamps. These are minties. Um, got some Elizabeth's. 1968 never been licked i'm always going to have an elizabeth in my shop elizabeth the first that glorious stamp of the, of the, of the painting um the ladies asked for one of those so i thought i'd just i'd have a look on on ebay and there was a strip of them mint condition never been licked i thought yes please i'll have them i've got a whole pile to take off paper a whole pile of stamps to take off paper these have been through the post but They've been through the post, three Christmas stamps there. Very little postmark, little tiny mark on them. So they're all they're all good enough to use. I sometimes like them with postmarks on. I got one from France today, but it has a picture of Dublin. <laughs> French stamp with a picture of Dublin on it. And then this one came through the post as well today. I've got a thoroughbred horse, an Irish setter. This one, which is spring, which has got lovely little snowdrops on it. That one I don't like, even though it's royal purple with a crown. 
and there's uh, Year of the Child, Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter's got a postmark on him and a One Piece stamp with a big postmark on it. So they are quite heavily postmarked, but I'm going to take them off the paper anyway because I rather like them. I like a stamp that's postmarked. I don't know, maybe it's just me being me. I love the mint condition ones and I like the postmarked ones too. And as long as the postmark's not through the face or anything, oh, here's a funny colour. It's actually brown. It looks kind of red. <laughs> it isn't tall. It's like mousy brown, my hair. It's not been dyed for 12 years. So even, even the tatty endings. Look at that. It needs about. <laughs> it needs about 18 inches cut off it. Even the tatty endings have got no dye in them. So it's been a long time since I dyed my hair. Anyway. I'm now talking nonsense. It's not really this colour. This is the lighting helping a lot. This isn't, it's really quite dull. Anyway, sorry, I never see it down. So to me, it looks peculiar. I'll keep rustling that temperature tree. Two seconds. I nearly 100% decided not to do one for 2021 because I fell out. Sarah, the stitching mommy. She's got a lovely one this year, the typography that she's just started, which are the words. I rather like it, but I'm still hankering the tree. Now, I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to do one this year. I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to do one this year on account that I still haven't finished last year's. But I went wrong and I fell out with it and it was in time out for a long time. Picked this up just before the end of the year, literally like two or three days. Robin printed me out. That's an anomaly, by the way. That one there is wrong. It's not. It's not a. We didn't have a twenty-one, a twenty-degree average temperature on the 9th of November. I've double-checked with AccuWeather, and it's the same as either side of it. So there's my temperature tree, and I am up to now. I was on about April the. Oh, I can tell you what day I was on. Um, I was on, oh, I'm not sure now. I was in the middle of April when I got angry with it. And now I am up to August the 23rd. So I'm here and I need to put the leaves on to finish it here. And here is my tree, which I was putting on two months a day until I stopped but I need to pick it back up and carry on. I've got three warm days. One there, one there, and one just there are the warm, the warmest temperatures. I converted it all to Celsius and I did my own colours because I didn't want a rainbow tree. I wanted my tree to be green. I've got my colours right here. They're just all fallen over in the little, not quite the right size floss box. Let me just pick them up so that you can actually see the colours. And turns out I'm not going to be using the bottom three colours or the top three colours. Oh, and now they just look. But you can see there. They don't quite fit the bobbins, this little box. That was like a pound in Hobbycraft. It doesn't... No, it really doesn't fit. Anyway, there's my colours. So I'm only using from this one will be the lowest colour up through all these greens, up to that, that one there, um, which is uh, DMC 922, is my hottest colour that I'll be using in that, that year. These three here didn't even get used, so they can go back in my, these three and those three can go back in my um, floss box. But we've had three or four really really super cold days so I will look up the temperature and if it looks like there's going to be interesting an interesting colour sorry that's my eBay I'm I've been buying stamps and I'm looking at vintage um crystal necklaces to take to pieces and make needle uh, not make needle minders make scissor fobs and things you know to to go between the um Fimo things on scissor fobs and stuff so I'm my brain's my brain's twisting at the moment and turning so I'm not ruling out yet 
restitching for 2021. I need to get 2020 finished, obviously, because it's not. But I've got all my temperatures there. I've got everything I need in this amazing project bag. The IKEA. The IKEA bag. And I make bloody project bags. Hopeless. What I have decided I'm going to do is make myself a set of project bags because my projects are stuffed any old how. Half of them aren't in bags, half of them are just folded up and dropped. I'm going to make project bags for myself. Oh, sorry, I don't know why eBay's doing that. Anyway, I'm going to get off. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. This was FrostTube 11 of number one of 2021. And I'm going to hopefully do uh, either a stitch with me or if my rip dye turns up, I might do a dye along with me. That sounds awful. Um, how I'm going to dye my fabric for Halloween at Hawkwind Hollow. <laughs> maybe instead but that's what that's i might film that I'll, I'll film that and if i make good progress on my little tiny advent pillows i've got most of that recorded i just need to add on the last few bits of that as i just finish it off but be warned that is a long and uh jumping subject a lot video which is what you get from me and i'm going to stop this i'm going to draw for the um oh there's a little video of eric i'll put a little video of eric in next my cat's just mm, he's as thick as a brick he really is as thick as a brick um yeah so i'm going to put that in here and then after that i'm going to quickly put in who's won the two from from floss tube 10 i've got this lovely needle minder now christmas has passed i didn't i hadn't really realized that flossmas was going to take over so comprehensively and so i've still got that one to draw basically if you left me a comment on floss tube on floss tube 10 i'm just going to count up the comments and do a lucky dip so that's that one and then a few of you guys said you'd like spring mentioned spring in the comment from the video i uploaded the flip through the, oh God, the flip through the magazine so i'll draw for that and i'll draw for this i'm going to put in the video of eric and i'm going to put that in after this only i have to use my phone to look up the comments and do the random number so i'll see you in a minute guys you watch my stupid cat honestly he is like a dummy i'll see you in a bit Eric, you fallen out your cue snap, buddy. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, um, so I pulled up my floss tube number 10. There were 30, well there was 36 comments, two of them from people who live in my house who don't get to win things. So it was 34 comments that I counted and I did the num random number generator. It came up number 17 and it's Jenny, Jenny Jobbins. So I don't think I've got your address yet, Jenny. If you would mind, wouldn't mind emailing me at my normal Gmail, your postal address, I will get this into the post to you. And yeah, I'll talk about something in a second. I've thought of something else I'm meant to say. So Jenny Jobbins name along here and then for the spring the little freebie which I must remember to take the front of the magazine because the pattern's on the inside of the magazine so the magazine's going to get mutilated it's going to get mutilated anyway because I'm going to pull it open to take my pattern out for the um, Emma Congdon so this little freebie here five people said spring in their comments and it went to number two Karen Crow. Karen I'm pretty sure I pretty sure I have your address I'll double check but I'm pretty sure I've already got your address so I'll pop this if I have I'll pop this into the post to you if not I'll I'll pin you and ask you to uh, send your address I'm reasonably sure you you've got one of my you've I've totally got your address <laughs> I have I've got your address because you've you've got stuff from Etsy from me as well righty ho I'll get that into the post to you Karen now the other thing I was going to say is I spent happy two whip parades 
a totally logical unit of time for those of us who have watched so many whip parades that it actually eats into our, our lives. But I've been off work a fair bit, so I've watched an awful lot of whip parades. I spent two whip parades, um, actually did a table and I noted down who commented on my floss tube videos. There are, I think, three people who commented on every single one of them. That's as much of a commitment to watch my drivel as it is to make my drivel. So thank you very much. I am making prizes. And there's another further, I think, six or seven people who missed one up to about four comments. So to comment on 20 days worth or, you know, 22 days worth, a couple of you only missed one day. Um, Jenny, you're one of them. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to be making I'm going to be making a couple of prizes. And then when I've when I've made what I'm thinking, I'm going to I'm thinking of some new things that I'm going to make. So I'm going to make them and then I'm going to put up I'm going to call out your names. And quite a few of you, I already have your names, uh, your addresses. But some of the others I will I'll be calling you out in my video. Um, it's, I think it's going to be a housekeeping video anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for my people who watched all, all my phosphorses because god there was so many of them I've kind of missed making a video but I wanted to have some progress and then I kind of realized today that actually I've had an awful lot of progress and now I'm home during the day I can film in the natural light I'm not in my dark gloomy room what I'm gonna do I'm gonna paint this wall because it's so scrappy with the tinsel and lights up now I've taken that down the wall looks even worse so I'm gonna move the picture to the other side of the room next to the telly I've got a big blank space up there so I'm going to move that picture up there which gives me this space so as I finish and get stuff framed because I like sitting here and until I've done my next project which is up there I'm going to film my floss tubes here and I'm going to actually get some things finished and up on this wall. But this wall is going to get painted while I'm on furlough for definite. Even if it's just this one wall that I paint. Um, I have got a big half a... Uh, what's it called? French dresser. The bottom the bottom part with the, the drawers and the, the cupboards is in the greenhouse. Dead. You know, it's used for garden stuff because we uh, we went a bit crazy the first time we started going to auction we bought furniture and yeah we got more frank because I love French dresses we got more French dresses than we knew what to do to do with so but the the back piece of the French dresser which is the shelves with the the you know the top curly bit and the the sides can be mounted on the wall and I was I think I'm going to put that on the wall going that way to uh, the stuff that's on my desk there's another lamp there there's a hmm. don't look at the mess that's my bedside table <laughs> it's just a mess everything's a mess I'm trying to get sorted I sorted out my pit the pit of doom there I can, I've actually had floorboards there I mean they've always been there I just couldn't put my feet on them I sorted all that out the other day looking for something I found downstairs which was great <sighs> but I did sort it out so at least I've got the floorboards there so I think I'm going to put that on the wall there depending on how far this way because then I can put a lot more of my little my little itty bitty craft storage on that because obviously I'm going to live in this little area I have a plan for the attic space which I've mentioned in one of the other videos I've recorded. It's probably the finishing video of the little pillows because honestly I off pieced on that so much. I'm going to have to put that up soon, probably in two chunks like the Whip Parade. It's an epic, I think. But anyway, thank you for watching this. I'm much obliged to you. Feel free to drop me comments, always. Please keep posting pictures of what you're up to on the Facebook group. I honestly, I love looking through what other people's stitching. It just, I really love it. Anyway, I'm going to get on with my full coverage pieces and as soon as that die comes, I want to get this done and I will be starting this and it will be 
pull colours pulled from my stash if I don't have the DMC if I've got an over dye in something that looks like it could be right I'll use it if I haven't got an over dye obviously I'm going to start with this one I'm going to go one two three I'm going down and then to the middle I'm not going to come across the top I'm going to come down and then in and I'm going to stitch them in the layout they are stitched there I'm not going to change out the words I'm only going to pull from stash for the colors um because I've done I'm going to do a job on the fabric so I'm going to pull from my my tidy stash box and my DMC box if I haven't got the DMC if I've got an overdue I'll use that if I have but these aren't really my colors so odds on I'm not I mean I've got autumn leaves I don't know if that's listed what are they DMC floss with needlepoint silk conversions. Yeah, that's not happening. It's a DMC list. Unless it's a big area like the grass and I've got an overdye that looks like it would be lovely, I might use an overdye. If not, I will just pull the DMC. If I don't have the DMC, I'll use this picture to pull the nearest colour that I have. Just to save me on kitting up a full floss list. Because um, I'm doing the fabric. So I will see you really soon. Take care for now, guys. Bye-bye.